Hello guys, welcome to JT Squared Full Stack Development Program. In this session, I am going to teach you some uh, Java concept, some basic history, and JDK Java Development Kit. So let's start. What about Java and why Java? Java, why Java is very popular in the world, and why Java is the most powerful language in the world. First thing, the Java was started as a project that is that was Oak. Okay, by the James Gosling in 1991. Java has a virtual machine. That's why uh, Java is very powerful and and very secure because the Java uh, com uh, byte code can run any kind of platform. That's why. Uh, because of virtual machine, Java is very powerful language in the world. The first version released on 1995 and now stable version is J Java SE 14. Developed by James Gosling and the developer team Sun Microsystems. So here is the, some uh, history version of uh, JDK. The first version was JDK 1.0 that was released on 1996. The first release, first release was uh, JDK Alpha and Beta that, which un uh, that was unstable release. The first stable release was released in 1996 and after uh, JDK 1.1 java add uh, some new feature like reflection jdbc inner class sales and mi remote invocation in after that uh, jdk se standard L edition for uh, only for uh, uh, desktop application 1.2 in 1998 it has a collection collections JIT just in time compiler string memory mapping and etc after that uh, SE 1.3 released on 2000 it has some new feature like uh, sound uh, Java sound Java indexing JNI and some other feature and now the uh, now the uh, most stable uh, version is SE uh, 8.0 it has uh, uh, lambda expression annotation and uh, data uh, and uh, annotation on java type data and time api and some in previous version like uh, streams uh, string in switch case resource management in exception caching uh, caching multiple exception and uh, in previous version jdk6 uh, has jdk 4. Point, JDBC 4.0. I will explain about JDBC 4.0 uh, in advanced Java and uh, Java compiler API annotation in advanced Java. Annotation is very powerful. I will explain uh, all the concept about the API, uh, annotation API in uh, advanced Java. Okay. In the next, uh, the most important feature of Java. So the first thing is Java is very simple. Why Java is very simple? Because Java take care about the memory management. Why Java is very simple? Because Java take care about memory management. And Java has one more feature that is automatic garbage collector. Java has a garbage collector, garbage collect collector. Uh, class that help that provide facility to clean the unused code unused object to automatically clean the garbage collectors okay and why is java is simple because uh, java remove the pointer concept for uh, like c and c++ has the pointer concept but java remove the pointer co uh, concept okay then that's why java is very simple because pointer concept removed in Java, and the the, the another uh, thing 
that is operator overloading operator overloading removed in java the second uh, the second feature is platform independent why uh, java is platform independent because of jvm java has a java virtual machine that provide the facility to convert the byte uh, to run the byte code to uh, on a on every machine like uh, like on windows like on uh, mac or android operating system so that's why uh, uh, the java is platform independent we can we can say java language java language is platform dependent but the but uh, the class of java file is platform independent because of byte code okay because after compilation process uh, compiler convert byte code that is class file that class file can easily execute on any operating system the third one is oops concept object oriented java is purely object oriented programming language it has uh, uh, many classes uh, it, it has object feature object creation feature that's why java is object purely object oriented programming language and it has some extraordinary uh, feature like inheritance polymorphism data abstraction and all that the next point is why uh, why uh, java is ob purely object oriented that because of data modified data we can mo modified any kind of data and function also that's why java is uh, a purely object oriented programming language the first and, and the fourth concept is robust why uh, java is robust language because we can uh, use in both situation like consumer problem and critical and mission critical application meter mission critical application means real time application which can operate uh, on real time application that is known as mission critical application like uh, for example uh, rocket launching and uh, uh, microwave and uh, all the things so that's why java is a robust language and the fourth one is secure java is very secure language so and sixth one is multi threading java is multi threaded language okay <coughs> so the next point is uh, <coughs> java development kit so when you download the uh, java development when you install uh, the java development kit in your uh, in your machine on your machine then then you will see uh one second i will show you now i am showing you uh the location where i install the java so here is the java my java file okay here is the location where i i i have installed the java here you can see the jdk there are two folder uh, first one is JDK 1.8 and second one is uh, JRE 1.0. So uh, this is the JDK. This is the JDK. You can see the bin folder, JRE and library folder. Okay. What is the uh, purpose of bin folder? The bin folder it has uh, a lot of application that helps to uh, to control the Java code like uh, uh, java compiler is here for the compilation process java profiler is here java w is here so all the all the j console is here okay so all the application in uh, in the bean folder and uh, and uh, and uh, another folder is jre which provides uh, some uh, some library files 
to uh, uh, to provide uh, some runtime application environment okay <coughs> so uh, back to the point so uh, the first one is jdk java development kit okay it it it, it java development means whole tool java uh, development kit means whole tool like like java compiler java talk jar and a debugger also it has and the second uh, thing is jre jre what is uh, java runtime environment it provide uh the required uh, it 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 provide the required library to run the java program okay it provide the required library to run the java program so uh, uh you you can say that jre is the another part of uh, jdk no jre is the subset of jdk the third one is jvm java virtual machine i have already told you ki java uh, java is a platform independent language so uh, there is a major ma major importance of java virtual machine on every execution of code java virtual machine only java virtual machine is responsible to execute the code okay because uh, uh, only java virtual jvm can convert or uh, or execute the byte code and this byte co byte code can be convert into the readable format so here is the whole concept of java development kit the first uh, this is the whole java development kit there are the two part of java development kit the first one is jre and second one is java development tool in jre you can see the two part first one is java class library and second one is jvm okay so so uh, java class library it means it provides a, a lot of classes or interface in build classes or interface okay we uh, can uh, will um, this class will have to uh, execute the code and jvm is responsible to execute the byte code into the machine uh, level format so this this whole the thing is jre and and uh, java development tool what is the java development tool it is it also provide Uh, a lot of uh, development tool like like uh, uh, for uh, um, for supported library for supported class for supported interface also so whole the thing is java development kit for example you can see here for example you can see here this one is jdk okay in jdk you will you will see the bean folder in build in bean folder you will see a lot of application that provides the uh, on the run time environment oh sorry sorry yeah we we, we this provide uh, for uh, many many kind of task to execute the code okay after that you will see jre library file in jre library file in build folder you will see a lot of uh, application extend uh, extension application that provide on the run time environment okay let's go to the point the next is java category java is categorized in three form the first one is java se java se means a standard edition with the help of java se we can create stand alone application it means desktop application we can create we can build desktop application and the second one is java double e java enterprise edition with the help of java enterprise edition we can build web application 
a secure web application and the third one is java me java me means micro edition with the help of this uh, micro edition we can build mobile application the next topic is compiler architecture okay in the in my previous uh, video i have shown you how to compile the code and how to execute the code this is the java code nothing but this is the java code for uh, for every java code it need a compiler so java c is the compiler when java c compiler compile this java uh, code it will convert into the class file or byte code it will java compiler will convert the java file into the class file that is byte code you know very well uh, java is platform independent language so here is the verification of platform independent language so uh, the byte code can be convert into uh, can, can be execute on the windows platform who will be the responsible jbm will be the responsible to convert the byte code to the machine level language on the windows platform and it can also execute on linux operating system with the help of with the help of jvm and uh, java virtual machine and similarly on mac operating system so overall we can say that java is independent program uh, platform language okay it means uh, java class file can convert can execute on any kind of platform if jvm is the responsible to convert the class file but we cannot convert we cannot uh, compile the windows jvm uh, with the help of windows jvm directly of a another occupied operating system class file java file sorry java file so we cannot uh, execute directly if this java file is created on the mac operating system and we want to compile on this this uh, java file on windows operating system so we cannot compile okay we cannot execute if the compiler if the compiler once compiler uh, compile the byte code then this class file can easily execute on if any operating system with the help of jvm so i hope you guys uh, this video will be helpful for you and uh, and thank you for this session and uh, we will interact with the new video in the next session so thank you to all and please subscribe my channel and please like this video thank you